Do not cast your pearl before swine first lesson. Matthew chapter 7 verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Golden text, Romans chapter 14 verse 22. Or hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. Once you depart one step from the word of God, the word of God departs from you, so fasten the word of God to your heart. It is a thing of glory not to cast what you hold sacred to the dogs. The question, however, is, does the brotherhood of the cross and star not cast their thing of glory before swine? Do the children of the brotherhood not take their precious thing and cast it to the world to be ridiculed? Our Lord Jesus Christ held the knowledge of his mission firm in his heart and regarded all mockeries as nothing. If the Father reveals who you are to you and you reveal it to your parents or wife, they will hate you and mock you and ask you who you think you are. They will plan to drive you away. Why do you think that Joseph was driven away and hated by his brothers? It was because he told them about his dream where he saw them bowing down to him. The truth is always bitter. You might not remember that you leaked your secret to members of your family and you later on start wondering why people of the same parentage as you hate you and scheme against you. What the left hand does the right hand should not know. The father is revealing himself to his children but he does not come and announce it to the general house. Why our Lord succeeded was because he always asked his disciples who people thought he was. He would then ask them who they thought he is. It was Peter who said that he is the son of the living God whereupon he charged him to tell it to no one because the time had not yet come for him to be known. Keep to yourself what you hold sacred, hold family to yourself what you know is of glory to you no matter what you may pass through. He bound his disciples to maintain sealed lips about him till the appointed time and they did. If he had been revealed before time he would not have lasted to fulfill his assignment because they would have torn him to pieces. Since the creation of man which prophet was not persecuted and mocked and slain by the people of the world. Oh this is a prophet of God eh? And we are not, surround him and seize him and destroy him. Look at another one, catch him. God said, this is my beloved son, hear ye him. The world said, oh, of all of us he is the one you chose. God put his son's glory before swine and they killed him. Watch and see that it is the thing you hold dear that will spoil quickly or be stolen. Your undoing will always come from the person you love most because you will be tempted to reveal what you hold dear to him or her. If not that the father has come in person, you would have murdered him in cold blood, you would have cast me to the swine. If I had not come in person you would have betrayed me to the world. At first God sent his angels to men and they beat them, then he sent his prophets and they killed them one by one, then he sent his only son and they killed him. Then how do you think God will be so foolish as to come by himself and tell the world that he is God? Only a foolish person will cast what he holds sacred to the dogs because the swine you are casting it to does not know or believe. Our Lord and the disciples knew themselves but never revealed themselves to anyone. They went about their set assignments. If you the children of this kingdom keep your precious thing within you and not bandy it about in the world, the world will not have the mind to deprive you of your precious thing. If your mother is in Presbyterian and you are in the brotherhood of the cross and star and you do not go to tell her to come to brotherhood, there will be no problem. Just keep on in your belief and at the father's time your mother will be called. Why do you say that you have received the accurate teachings and yet you cast your paws before the swine? You are foolish. Tell me the sense in your behavior that someone abuses your father and you do not fight. He abuses your mother and you keep quiet but as soon as he abuses Lida Olomba Olomba Obu you start fighting thus revealing to him that Lida Olomba Olomba Obu is precious to you. You write O all over your doorpost and window to show that it is him you worship. Remember how Job was tempted for a long time. God told Satan that Job was a precious and obedient servant of his. Satan said that Job had to be obedient because he, God, gave Job everything good like money, wife, children, and property. He said to God, stretch your hand and take his things and see. God then told Satan to go and try Job but not to tamper with his life. 
Do you think that God has not learned from these experiences? That is why he said that he would come like a thief in the night. What does that mean? Read the publication titled Beyond Prejudice. They searched for O everywhere but could not find him because their mission was evil. Yet he was standing all around them. Do you think he will reveal himself to such people? Do not disturb the peace of your father, mother and others around you. Do not go into a wrestling match with what you hold sacred or it will be snatched and destroyed. Keep what you hold sacred to yourself. If God wants the world to know him, he will reveal himself to them, but if he has chosen only a few, the few will know him for he will reveal himself to them. Do not carry gold to those who do not know the value. Have you seen anyone writing the name of his grandfather on doorposts and windows? Once you trivialize anything you hold sacred, people will try to upset you and ridicule that thing. It is a thing of shame that an unbeliever visits you and you start rattling how leader Olomba Olomba Obu is your God, helper and master. The person does not believe so how do you want him to say anything good about your O.O.? Something that introducing leader Olomba Olomba Obu as God means that they are doing something big, no. You are instead driving the person away. A leopard hides to catch its prey. That is why that publication titled I am not God but Olomba Olomba Obu is causing confusion in the world. They bought out all copies to prove that he has said that he is not God but a human being. If you publish a book praising the leader of the brotherhood, no one will buy it but if you publish that the Holy Father, oh, is 999, the publication will sell out in one day and the copies will circulate the world that same day. So brethren, the ways of God are mysterious and the more you look the less you see. Those awaiting the moon will never see the moon because it will never come out. First lesson, Matthew chapter 7 verse 6, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your paws before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. This advice is for the entire world. Anything that you know is a thing of great value to you, do not discuss it or they will blackmail you or undo you. As from now do not discuss leader Olomba Olomba Obu with any person. Discuss the teachings and lessons and let O.O. rest. Whatever you know about the leader keep it to yourself. Do not tell it even to your wife or brethren if God has not revealed it to them. He could be revealed to different people as different things and if you try to bandy yours about it may cause confusion. Some who bandy O.O. about cannot even support their claim in the Bible and when challenged they will say they had others saying so. Your wife and children are not as important as the leader to you but you take the leader's name and discuss it anyhow and people say all sorts of things about him and you become upset, who is the fool then? Nobody likes the truth and no church teaches the truth and so anytime you mention O.O. they try to dismiss you. Has thou faith, have it yourself if God calls you without calling your father. Do not discuss anything about this place with him until God calls him. Do not let any person spoil your mind about the truth in this kingdom because there are few people who are here enjoying but because of pressure from their family they backslide. Some are threatened with divorce and others with sack in their workplace and they tremble and backslide. I tell you that your last position will be worse. Hold firm to what you have seen in this kingdom and do not let anyone or anything take it from you. This gospel is fulfilled in the children of this kingdom because despite threats, they hold firm to the truth they have seen. Some are threatened with stoppage of school fees, some are threatened with being disowned. Some are bribed but they hold firm. There is no child of God who does not know that they are worshipping the true and living God here and that there is nothing like Beelzebub here. They say that you worship man then why do you not worship other men like the Pope, President or millionaires? They say you worship Beelzebub, then why do you cast out demons? Why do you handle and destroy Juju? Why are elementary spirits afraid of you? These people know that you are worshipping the true God but want to deceive you, but I say to hold on to the truth you know. Golden text, Romans chapter 14 verse 22, O has thy faith. Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. You wonder why the people you brought back slide. The reason is that it was you who brought them and not the father who called them. You brought them by telling them the wrong things. You can take a horse to the water but you cannot force it to drink. 
You can bring your wife here and she stays for a few weeks after baptism and leaves because she does not understand what is happening as the father has not revealed himself to her. Hold on to the truth if our Lord did not reveal himself to Peter, would Peter have followed him? The truth is that the father has revealed himself to all of you here or you will not be here. If he had not, and with all the things said about the leader, you would have backslided. If someone tries to blackmail the brotherhood and the leader, tell him how you two hated the brotherhood and how you have discovered the truth. See how Paul after his baptism told people how he was a Pharisee and how he came about the truth. Can you not see that you have great testimonies? Christ thanked the Father for revealing these things to him because no one knows the Father save the Son and nobody knows the Father except the one he has revealed himself to. Therefore no one can come to the brotherhood of the cross and star unless the Father calls him. Do not be fooled. In the face of death, poverty, or hardship, hold on to the truth. Our Lord said that he knew where he came from and where he was going. The same applies to you because you know where you are coming from and where you are going but your mother and brother do not know. They know that you have found something precious and they want to use all means to draw you out. Some of you wonder why, why you were in the world, you own cars and ships and properties but now that you are in the kingdom you cannot issue big checks anymore and some of the luxuries you own have vanished. It is because you are the children of the Most High God. He that hath ears let him hear and may God bless his holy word. Amen.